I'm delighted to be presenting here on behalf of Montana State University and their OSHER Lifelong Learning Institute programs. Our topic is six biblical conundrums and how science helps us resolve them. Our first is the issue of the creation story. And I uh, will discuss various creation stories throughout the world and then talk about the creation story that we understand through modern science with regard to the Big Bang and how the Big Bang, a very unscientific name, but that's what we use, explains to us how the universe was created. I'm going to share the screen and show you what the universe seems to have looked like based upon modern technology, modern astrophysics, astronomy, and cosmology. Back sometime around 19.2 billion years ago, there was a gigantic explosion in the universe. We don't know where it came from or why or how. And out of that explosion came the entire universe as we know it. And that explosion is called the Big Bang. I'll also talk a bit more about such things as the um, way that matter was formed and eventually the entire world that we know, the entire universe that we know um, was created. And uh, then we'll be able to see just to what degree the biblical account as we know it from the book of Genesis, either it matches or it doesn't match what modern cosmology tells us about creation. We'll then do the same thing with the story of the flood where here we'll rely upon meteorology, geology, and um, the study of glaciers to help us understand whether or not there actually was a flood, and if so, where and when and how people survived. The process of glaciation creating gigantic lakes and um, those lakes eventually overflowing the natural dams that were created by the glaciers retreat will help us understand better how geology and um, ultimately uh, archeology span will explain the, the, the flood. Uh, then we'll move on. Next question is Abraham. And Abraham is a very interesting character. We learn a lot about him from the biblical account, and we discovered that there are some things in his past that aren't all that nice. For example, the Bible tells us in no uncertain terms that he pimped his wife to the Pharaoh, and he received a thousand shekels of silver in exchange. Do you know that? <laughs> the man pimped his wife, and it says so in the Bible. Well, this picture here is not Abraham, don't be confused, it's a wall painting in Egypt dating to about Abraham's time, which shows us what a family akin to Abraham's might have looked like coming into Egypt. We'll go over this in more detail and talk more about Abraham. After Abraham, we will go to the Exodus and talk about the, um, the story of the Exodus and how that um, allows us to uh, understand the, the, the reality behind the whole story. Were there really 10 plagues? Did the sea split? Where is Mount Sinai? And other stuff just like that. Uh, we will conclude after the Exodus story with um, a look at the dynasty of King David and what evidence we have for its very existence. And then we'll conclude our sixth session with a survey of the Dead Sea Scrolls and what they tell us about, well, basically the origins of Christianity in a Jewish messianic movement during the time of the Roman conquest. And I look forward to seeing you there. I hope you bring good questions and I will provide you with an outline, which I hope will prompt some of those questions. Thank you very much for your attention. It's been delightful talking to you.